Okay, and this problem, it says in 1992, the cost of an operating system for a computer was $50, and in 1998, the cost was $100, and it says that we're going to let uh, t equal zero be the year 1990, and we're supposed to derive the linear relationship. So we'll set up points t, comma, c, and in other words, the number of years after 1990, comma, the cost. So the points would be 2, comma, 50, because the first one is 1992, so that's two years after 1990, and the cost was $50, so that's 2, 50, and the other point was 1998, so that's eight years after 1990, and the cost was 100, so here's my two points. Now, since again, since we just have two points, we can do this problem by hand, and the first thing we'll have to do is calculate the slope. We're trying to get the equation in y equals mx plus b in slope-intercept form. The slope is rise over run, so I'll take my one y value, I'll call this one my y2, minus my y1, so that's 100 minus 50, over my run, which is the distance I travel in my x direction, which is x2 minus x1. So if this was y2, this has got to be x2. So it's x2 minus x1, 8 minus 2. If I do some subtraction here, 100 minus 50 is 50, 8 minus 2 is 6, 56 reduces down to 25 thirds, and 25 thirds is the same as 8.3 repeating. And that's what the bar means, repeating. So now we got our slope, so I can just substitute in for the m what the slope is, 8.3 bar. Now to get the b, I could just substitute in any point. So at this point, I have y equals 8.3 bar x plus b. Substitute in either one of these points, either the 8 comma 100 or the 2 comma 50, and you'll get the same answer for b. I use the 8 100. So the 100 is what I substituted in for y right here, and the 8 is what I substituted in for x. And that gives me 100 equals 8.3, repeating, times the x, and the x is 8 plus b. So I just got to get what the b is. Well, 8.3 bar times 8 is 66.6 .6 bar. Subtract off the 66.6 .6 bar, and you get 33.3 .3 bar. So the b is 33.3 .3 bar. So that's your equation right there, y equals 8.3 bar x plus 33.3, .3, repeating. Now, what does the slope mean? Well, the slope is 8.3 repeating. So what was this about? Well, it was about time and cost. So we can think of this 8.3 repeating as 8.3 over 1, okay, because any number can be written as that number over 1. Now, we're rising this much. This is my rise, and my run is the denominator, which is just 1. So that means for every year, because the run is in the bottom, the x is in the bottom, that's the 1. So for every year, the cost is going up, because this is a positive, going up by $8.33. So every year, the cost of the operating system is going up by $8.33. The y-intercept is the point 0, 33.3 repeating. So 0 tells me the year, which is 1990. Back in 1990, according to this model, the cost of an operating system was $33.33. Okay, now, if we wanted to find the x-intercept, we would put 0 in for y. Okay, if it said find the x-intercept, we put 0 in for y. Then I would subtract off the 33.3, and that would give me negative 33.3 repeating equals 8.3 repeating times x. And then I would just divide both sides by the 8.3 repeating. So I'd have negative 33.3 repeating divided by 8.3, and what that ever that would give me, uh, that comma zero would be my uh, uh, x-intercept. And my x-intercept would actually tell me when the cost is zero, because the x-intercept is going to have a y part, or the cost value of zero. And I think that's just about everything on that problem. And let's go ahead and do one other one, and that's this one. This one, it says that a high school had an enrollment of 1,000 students in 1980. During the next 12 years, the enrollment increased by 60 students per year. Now, uh, we need to write a linear equation giving the enrollment uh, n, this is like your y value, in terms of the year x, okay, t, whatever. That's your, your x variable right there is time. And t equals 0 is 1980. Okay, well, it actually is giving us the slope. It's telling us that it's going up by 60 students per year. So we have our slope, that's 60, so it would be y equals 60x plus how many ever we started off with. Well, in 1980, we started off with 1,000 students. So the equation would just be y equals 60x plus 1,000. Or in terms of the, variable, the variables that we're using, it would be n for the number of students is equal to 60t, t times the number of years after 1980, 
plus 1,000. So again, n equals 60t plus 1,000. And uh, I think we answered what the meaning of the slope is. It's telling us that it's going up by 60 students every year. The y-intercept is how many we had at the start, and that would be 1,000 students in 1980. Now this says if the uh, if this constant rate of growth continues, predict the enrollment in the year 2000. Well, we would actually have the equation again. We would have the equation y equals 60x plus 1000. So the year 2000 is eight, is 20 years after the year 1980. So you would just substitute 20 and for the x. 60 times 20 is 1200, and 1200 plus 1000 is 2,200. If it says, when will the enrollment be 3,000 students? Well, this is my number of enrollment right here. So, you know, the other variable we could use instead of y is n for number of enrollment instead of x. We could have used t here for time. So put the 3,000 in here, and we'd have to solve it. Subtract off the 1,000, and you get 2,000 equals 60t. And then to finish it off, divide both sides by 60. And when you do that, so when you do that, would you divide both sides by 60, you would get about 33.33 for T. And that means 33.33 years after 1980, the population of this school was supposed to be 3,000 students. So I'll stop right there. So hopefully you're pretty impressed with yourself and able to do this.